Hello, people who like amplifiers and guitars and stuff, and uh, we're German and we're church, with no hair, talking things about stuff. I know you're gonna cry me a river. Oh my god, you're doing synergy again. Me, 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 you've done so much synergy. That's just a few of you that I've met or read. Yeah, synergy's back. They've been around. I've done a whole bunch of videos and there was a lot of them and you had to not watch them. You could watch them if you were interested in Synergy. Yeah, but now there's new modules, yippee! But before we get into the module videos, which are separate videos, I want to talk about my new best friend, the Sin50 Head. <laughs> and also I want to thank Hank, who's up there switching so Leslie doesn't have to today because she just got home from work. So for me, the Synergy system was a clever thing. It is a clever thing. You have the modules and you can take them out. You can put them in the SYN 1, which is kind of like a big hard drive and wire that into the SYN power amp or uh, your power amp from your amp or wherever, or even go DI with the built-in uh, frequency compensated speaker simulation. It's no IRs. Um, need a nifty system, but it also depends on what you go into and therefore changes the sound. Um, then there's a SYN2, which is the same thing twice. And also stereo, going stereo into the SYN5050 stereo, which is cool. So I really liked all that. But now with the modules in the Synergy head, I feel it actually went... Thanks, like on the module for half an hour. Um, I now feel, oh my God, that's like the best amp ever. It, it, for some reason, they bloom beautifully and they just give you everything that you want in the head. This, compared to all the other amps I have, is as good as anything there. The um, BE module in there is as good as the BE channel in my small box. Um, the BB, which is a, uh, it's a part, uh, you'll see. Um, that's as good as the talking, if you ask me. It's just good. Now this amp is amp sized, amp weight, amp volume. What you get here is 50 watts in 6L6 and, uh, well, not a lot more. It's got three AX7s in it, but why does it have AX7s in it if the modules have the AX7s, huh? Uh, something about something. I don't quite understand it, but when you put in a module, the amp knows what module you put in and biases the tubes so that the module is perfectly supported by the amp. Now that's cool. You have um, density, presence, and the knob that we can't see, um, master. Ah, oh, there you go. Density, presence, and master. So pretty much, I'm gonna go low end, high end, and volume for the master. Even though, watch Colin Scott's video on what presence does. It's, I don't understand what he said, but it sounded clever. Uh, presence is kind of a, a power amp brightness, but it also enhances harmonic distortion, I guess. Is that what I got from the video? Colin Scott's a clever man, watch him. And then the switchy onies and offies. Yeah. And in the back, where we have an extra camera and an extra light, because we're decadent here, there's an effects loop, which is brilliant because Dave Friedman had his fiddly finger bits in it. There's a frequency compensated line out, balanced out, uh, where you can, you can see that right here, switch off the speaker simulation to use your own cap sim. And um, here is a ground lift and a minus 20 dB. Uh, speaker out, use this one first, it says. Uh, you can switch the homage. And over there is MIDI. Yes, it comes with a cable. And it comes with this foot switch. Four button foot switch to switch the four channels. But of course, you can use any other MIDI foot switch or incorporate it into looper switches and all that. So what we will do, we will test this. They wanted me to show it to you and just demo it. You screw them. We're reviewing shit and we're looking at everything. Everything. Which means 
We're gonna check those two modules and one that I literally have not taken out of the box because it just arrived from John Brown, who's reviewed it. So we're gonna plug that in and see what it does. Completely unprepared. Um, we're gonna see how those modules take pedals. So don't say, oh, the Sin 50 takes pedals. Well, no, 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 no. Depends on the module. Aha. Um, we're gonna check the balanced out. We're gonna check the balanced out by itself, but also going into two notes torpedo cab with IRs to see different kind of simulations. Uh, we'll check the effects loop. I have TC pedals on the table that I technically can't talk about. So I'm not gonna. And, and, and all that. Uh, yeah. It is standing right now on the Sin 212 cab. I think it's loaded with V30s. I guess so. Uh, and we're miking that with a Lewitt MTP440, which you can hear. And I'm going to mix in the aux a little bit, which is uh, right there. Which is a cream back loaded for 12. Of course, Dave Friedman would say, go to the green backs. Cream, green, I don't know the difference. They're all backs. What do I know? I like that sound. Dave likes the other sound. Who's right? Obviously, I am. What, 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 why are you going to, what, 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 what was that angle? Because you win. Ah, because I win. Ah, <laughs> I win, Dave. <laughs> Such a clever switch. <laughs> very, very, very clever switcher there. Thank you, Hank. Um, okay, I'm very happy, I have to say, with the modules I have in here right now, because they complement what I have on the amp rack. So, for example, if I put in the Metropolis, Metropolis, or the Plexi, which are two brilliant modules from Synergy. It wouldn't really benefit me too much because I have the mini Plexi and I have the uh, small box, which are very Plexi-ish. So I don't need those. Do I need an 800 module? Well, I have an 800 right there. No, but what I don't have is the Box and Betty, which I have right here in this module. That's the BEBB -B -B module. So that gives you the BE, the brown eye drive, and the Box and Betty Clean, which is a module I can only highly recommend, full video on my channel. Um, and then there's the OS module, which is of, is of, which is of, which is of course an overdrive special. It's a dumbbellish kind of module. And that is clean, that is high gain elites, and everything about the OS is thick and blah, 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 blah. That's what that is. Um, so that is perfect for me. But obviously I can take this, take the modules out and make this a metal monster. I can put a VH4 in there um, and I can put an Angle Savage in there. Angle Savage. Um, for my buddies from Angle. So you can take this to the gig and make it a jazz box. You can go and make it a metal box. You can play blues and classic rock. It, it can literally be anything you desire. All that being said, let's go. Completely unrelated, I'm playing a rhythm guitar. Not completely unrelated, pretty related. I'm in the third channel right now. BB part of the B B E B B module. This is just so complicated. You're hearing the cap and the you you know. Right switches, I guess. Yeah, it's a three position, three position right switch, and in Friedman style, the middle is always off, and then one side is more, and the other side is more. -er um, I like more -er when it comes to bright, and then there's. an MB switch, and I literally don't know what that does. So before I film that video, I'm gonna have to read up on that. Ah, more bass. 
If that's not more bees, I'm eating my lunch. Which, by the way, I do have, unless we prepared in a Star Wars lunchbox. Yes, I'm not shitting you. And what is in there? PB and J. This is how you switch the channels. You just flick through them. When I did my martial reviews, I literally killed my ears and I was, I was scared. So the master said to 11 o'clock now, I'm not running it actually in the room at 11 o'clock because it would kill me. It's running through the Tone King attenuator and I have it attenuated quite a bit so that I live. Okay. Just in case you were wondering, looking at the master volume, no, I'm not killing myself. Tone King Attenuator, there's also a video on that. That sound is just freaking to die for. So in this case, the module has two independent EQs, but there's also modules that only uh, have one EQ and they have separate gains. So every module is different. Look at the individual module. So I, I took the gain down. Let's put some delay on this. Hey, effects loop works, but who would have thought? Now let's see how the amp, or in this case, that module, takes pedals. So if you fly it in, Hank, look at that. One of my favorite pedals, the Borgner Ecstasy Blue. The fact that that's coming out of the same factory is technically a coincidence because it really is one of my favorite pedals. Oh, we need to give that power. There we go. Ooh, hmm, ah, now this foot switch is out, but not in, it's MIDI, uh, which also uh, with power, by the way, you can power it. So when I'm switching on the amp, the foot switch doesn't know what happened because it's only an output, which means right now it's telling me I'm in channel three, which I'm not, I'm in channel four. So the visual feedback is lacking there a little bit because if someone switches on my amp, I don't know that I'm in a different channel. So if someone, or if I did, for example, before the gig, switch on the amp to set something up, I go on stage, I think I'm in a channel I might not be in. That might be something they might want to look into. Not a major thing, but I'll just figure that out. <laughs> Hey, 
That's awesome. So I'm going to go to the Buxom Betty channel. Well, does it take pedals? Holy shit. Let's go to the OS channel. Sounds like this. Uh, we can't see it. Well, you're going to see that in the OS video. different holy crap so different <laughs> So this up the, the OS module clearly is for the bluesy, the jazzy, the thicky kind of people. Now, what if I don't want that? What if I want my clean channel and my rock and rolly BE and I want something more? Well then I spend $3.99, I think that's what they are. And I take this out of the box. It comes with a manual that I don't read. Cause I can't read! Um so, without turning the amp off, which I go to standby, you use these thumb, thumb screws right here, pull this suck out, all of a sudden, I changed the complete idea of this amp. Um, the Savage module, which again I've never looked at, um, has a shared EQ. Watch that switch in the middle. A contour switch. Two channels, each with a gain high and low setting. I have it down, no idea what that means. So let's see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the low setting. Let's keep it here. Let's keep it on the low setting. And go to channel 2, where we go to the high setting. Holy! If I do this, I was the guitar neck is putting a shadow on it. Huh? Yeah. 
and Channel One. <laughs> the Engel Savage module, so the trick is, I can still go to my brown eye. Ultra flexibility without compromise. All these sounds are just as good as they should be. I mean, that clean, ha, huh, and those, eh, wow. So, we're gonna go, we've tested the effects, so that's where, the, so technically the only thing that's left is we're gonna check out the DI. XLR uh, with no minus 20 dB into the Apollo Twin and I've got that on the lower setting and it totally just does it. Let's go to the BE side. That works. Oh, let's, 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 let's try the angle thing. So the thing that you have to remember is it's not a load. It doesn't have a load box built in, which means if you're using the DI, you still need a cab. Um, but let's look at different sounds. I will rewire. So I just turned the built-in speaker simulation off and plugged into the torpedo. I'm gonna take it down to minus 20 dB. So very easy to get any kind of caps on you want by adding 300 bucks.
very usable. Now, that says classic rock, straightforward something. <laughs> The, 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 the range of sounds is just staggering. Channel one. Okay, uh, we haven't checked out the power amp section, but we will do it right now. can make it a little bit fatter, a little bit leaner in the power amp. So what's the bottom line? Well, first of all, I was surprised about the price because I always thought the um, Sin 50 would be 2,000 euro plus the modules, but it's clocking in at only um, 1,700, 1,689 or something. So plus the two modules, you're looking at another 800. Is this an amp over 2,000? Yes, it is, easily. But it is just so good. It really is. And it can be any amp you want. And you just add 400 bucks and you buy the module you want and you have another amp there. Without any compromise, that's the thing. It's just really good. You're still carrying a big ass amp, but I like that, I like that idea. Now for a little bit less money, you can get the Syn30, which I haven't played. Syn30 is one module plus an extra clean channel, so it's a three channel amp. Um, but if it, I, I don't know if it kills me as much as this does. Uh, it, I'll have to try it, uh, I don't know. But Syn30 could be a great solution for a three channel setup. Now, for me, in the Synergy heads, the Syn modules are as good as amps get. There is no more level to go. Uh, my Dynamis, my uh, Rev, my uh, um, uh, Smallbox, my Dirty Shirty, uh, my Laboga, all these amps are on a level where you say, in that style, that's as good as it gets. My AC20, that's as good as it gets. Joe Morgan nails that Vox sound in the AC20. And this is as good as an amp gets. Now, I have one gripe, and that is visual feedback. I really don't like it when the amp doesn't tell me what's going on. Now on the amp, blue and red and blue and red, but they're really small lights. They're really, I mean, go to the module, Hank. That's a really tiny light that now switches to red. It is something that in a life situation far away from the amp or even a few meters away, I don't know if I see. Also, they're hidden around the knobs in a way that depending on the angle, you can't see from where I'm sitting, the amp over there, um, I sometimes don't see which channel is on. Not amazing. A little bit worse than that to me is that there's no actual on light. The only thing showing you that the amplifier is on is that the channel light is on. There is no LED, there's nothing. I suggested that they go ahead and they hollow out the Synergy logo and the Synergy logo lights up. 
I know it's more work. They have to cut that out with laser stuff, which I know they can do. They have to make a hole in the chassis so that there could be LEDs behind it. I think it's very important. Why? Because this amp has been on four times already overnight or over a whole weekend because I didn't see that it was on. When I leave the studio, I turn all the amps off. Well, yeah, you can say you look at the switches, but you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I want an amp to tell me I'm on so that I turn it off. This amp continuously gets left on by accident. Um, in a live situation, I'd like it to light up. Also, in terms of advertising, if this is on stage, on a dark stage, no one knows that you have a Synergy amp. If that lights up, you know you have a Synergy amp. Come on, it's, it's marketing people. So, the visual feedback is important to me. Um, with the foot switch, you have direct access to the channels. If you don't have the foot switch, there is no way to directly go to channel 4 or directly go to channel 1. You have to cycle through them with this channel switch. Is that a big negative? No. Is it a slightly minor negative? Without the foot switch, you can't just go click. You go click, click, click. You make of that what you will. Point is, the sounds are as good as they come. The price point is correct. This is built in, what is it, Huntington Park. I've been there several times. Great people, a great team, people that really know what they're doing. Uh, Dave Friedman's behind it, uh, uh, Freyette Guy, Peter Arendt, uh, Soldano, uh, Reinhold Bogner, all these people are directly involved. This is ultra amp porn tailored to your style. If you don't know exactly what amp to get, get this, because you can get them all. Links below. Thanks, Hank, for switching this extremely complicated video. Individual videos of the modules I'll film now. Bye-bye. Animals at the end. That's, that's the thing. Animals at the end. Ha! <laughs>